So we're supposed to find the cross product given these sets A, B, and C. I have here the definition of cross product and the definition of an ordered n-tuple. Now these definitions, I will admit, are kind of convoluted. They have a lot of symbols and we're combining notations to create new objects using set builder notation, tuples, this symbol here. There's a lot of information here and so it can be difficult and overwhelming to unpack what this is all saying. Well, according to my order of operations, I should find the cross product between B and C before I find the cross product between A and B cross C. So what is B cross C? B cross C is the set of all ordered pairs where the first element in the ordered pair is an element from B and the second element in the ordered pair comes from set C. So what is my set B? My set B is my set containing just an element U. So U is the only possible element I can put for the first element in this ordered pair. For my second element, it has to be from my set C, which contains two elements, M and N. So I would have one ordered pair where it's U comma M, and then another ordered pair, U comma N. So this is the set of all ordered pairs where the first elements are in the set B and the second elements are in the set C. So to do A cross B cross C, this is going to be the set of all ordered pairs where the first element is an element of set A, for example, like 1, and the second element from B cross C, which there are two elements here. Both elements are ordered pairs. We could choose, for example, the ordered pair U, M, and that could be a second element in this ordered pair. We could do one comma U, N. It's another element in B cross C that I can pick for the second element, my ordered pair. I could pick a different element for my first element in the ordered pair. For example, I could pick two, which is an A, and then I could pick um, I could pick 2 and the other element from E cross C, which is N, 3 and UM, and I can do 3 and UN. So this cross product has six elements. All six are ordered pairs, where the first elements are elements from A and the second elements are elements from B cross C. Now, with that written out, I'm going to type out the rest. So for A cross B cross C, According to the order of operations, we should figure out what A cross B is. So A cross B is a set of all ordered pairs where the first element is an A and the second element is a B. So now that I have A cross B, I can take that set which contains three elements and cross that with C. So this is going to be the set of all ordered pairs where the first element is A cross B, like 1 comma U, and the second element is in C. This set has six elements to it. And if you notice here, for these answers, we have ordered pairs within ordered pairs. That's totally fine. Lastly, for part C, I'm going to erase part B to figure that out. For part C, there are no parentheses. It's just A cross B cross C. So this is, by definition, these are ordered triples. So the first element is in A, second element is in B, third element is in C. And there are a lot of these triples. And those are the six elements. So if you notice, the answer to part A, part B, and part C are all different, and that's because of the order of operations. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.